my name is Andy Venegas, Applications Engineering Manager with PSG California. In this video, we want to show you how to properly torque the IPD diaphragm onto a PS420 pump. So we use the IPD diaphragm, a shaft stud, go ahead and apply that all the way into it bottoms out, place your inner piston part number side up onto the assembly. Now using some removable Loctite, we want to Put a drop in the shaft threads on both sides, only in the shaft, never onto the IPD, as it will be very difficult to get those off. Spin one side on all the way, drop the assembly into the center section. Then we take a liquid chamber to lock side A in, put a couple fasteners in place to lock it in. Now once we've got side A secure, we can try to install this onto side B. So we've already got the Loctite in the shaft. Next we'll place the stud, the inner piston with the part number facing towards the center section, and then we can go with the shaft. Let's go with the stud all the way in so we make sure we have proper thread engagement. Once it bottoms out, then put the complete assembly onto the center section. Now you see that B drops all the way all the way down because it's in its neutral position. So you want to get that as tight as we can. And then using our diaphragm wedge installation tools, we want to get that under so that we have a little bit of room. A little bit of room to try to get our hands underneath. So, what we want to do is use that as leverage, brace this any way you can, and you can see we want to try to tighten it now. So we tighten it as tight as we can get it. So when we say hand tight, I mean as tight as you can go by hand, and that's going to give you your best opportunity to get that diaphragm installed. Once we're there, we are good to go. Then you put your second liquid chamber. Second liquid chamber on and your assembly is complete. 